Hi, this is Maginani, and here's my review for Venom, uh, number 13, Spider-Man 679, and X-Force number 21. I'll do this one first. Now, overall, I like the story of this so, so far. I like they have the uh, invasion going on. I like the, the Wolverine, and I like Wolverine and Nightcrawler. There's not enough of Wolverine and Nightcrawler. The Betty Phantom X storyline... It's a nice continuation, but I don't know. I need a little bit more from it, but I think that's going to come out later, so I'm holding reservation on that. Now, the one thing I'm going to... The one thing I don't like is the artwork. I mean, looking back at the other X-Factors, that, that art was stellar. You know, granted, they had some, when they alternated artists, uh, their artwork suffered a little bit, but if you look at it, this in comparison, it's just not that great. Uh, basically what's going on, you have Phantom X, he's being uh, executed, they have these needles going into his head, and they're attacking all of his brains, Betsy goes in to save him, you have Wolverine and Nightcrawler battling, and with Deadpool, but Deadpool got chopped up in the last issue, and uh, what was really jacked up in this issue here is, Wolverine is fighting this uh, goat guy, and he's got these orbs, and the orb basically, each one of these orbs has a different uh, property. Uh, this one grabs him and just twists his metal bones and just jacks him up completely. But, of course, even though he's like this, when the next time you see him, his bones are all perfect. And, um, not quite sure how that happened because his healing doesn't heal his adamantium. So, my guess is since it's magical, maybe there's a time limit and it reverts back. I don't know. Uh, while that's going on, you have Megan coming back into the storyline uh, with uh, Wolverine and Nightcrawler later, and Betty is about to make the ultimate sac quote unquote, ultimate sacrifice to uh, save Phantom X. So, I mean, this is this is still a stellar book. The art's the only my only concern. Uh, my and the other concern I have is we need more Nightcrawler. This Nightcrawler is so much more fun for me at least, because he's a little bit more evil and twisted, he kills things, I like that. Granted, he's nothing like Kurt, and he'll never be able to replace Kurt, but I I just like, to me this looks like a more swashbuckler style. Not the romantic swashbuckler, but the more uh, life has treated me pretty crappily type character, and I, I kind of like that view of him. Um, overall though, I'm enjoying it. Amazing Spider-Man 679. This is part two to the, um, the you know the city blowing up storyline and, and the, the time thing. Now, overall, I thought this was a great two-part story. It's um, it moved pretty well. The art was good, and just you know it was just like it was kind of like capturing a day in the life of Spider-Man also. And even I even liked the conclusion of the. Uh, story in terms of how he saves the city and they did it in such a way where it's kind of like you know of course it's the last minute but the way it happens it's kind of like duh that's right that's the one thing that I missed and overall though I, I really enjoyed it and I'm really really looking forward to um, the next story arc with Doc Ock I think I'm really I'm just I'm really waiting for this one because this was this is gonna be I think a home run with everything they've done with Doc Ock and um, he Doc Ock's really proving to be a superior villain I mean he's always was strong against Spider-Man but you know he all Spider-Man do just like web his eyes or do you know he always did these little tricks and I think they've really elevated him to um, uh, like another level but uh, overall this is a great I guess you can say it's a filler type episode or issues filler in the sense of because it's just getting to the next big thing. And like, this is very Twilight Zone. -y. This was great. Now, so far, the Venom Circle of Four, part one, I guess you can say, this was a complete surprise. Utter surprise. I thought that when I sat down and looked at this in my stack, I said, this book is going to suck. And I was really close to just going, okay, we'll just cancel it after this, no big deal. But this book was awesome. 
I really enjoyed it. And I think part of the reason why I enjoyed it is how all these characters met. Now, there's a lot of things going on here. You have Flash with the Betty issue, Flash with the alcohol alcoholism problem. You have a demon. You have uh, the Hulk, Red Hulk, coming to catch uh, and bring back Flash because he's AWOL. And you have X-23 who goes to Vegas also because she's looking for the uh, somebody who's been cloning her and basically using symbiotes to, in the cloning process. And while that's going on, you have Ghost Rider who's living in uh, Vegas or Nevada. And the shit hits the fan, basically, because what you have is a guy who's opening up a portal to hell. And obviously, once that portal starts opening, Ghost Rider's involved. And it just so happens everybody just comes together because they're all looking ultimately for the same person. I, I really do like the artwork in here. I think the story is it's off to a great start. And I just fear that they're going to slip along the way. But I, I can at least say this issue here I really, really enjoyed. And I can't wait. I just cannot wait for the next part. Uh, this is a, I really am curious to see how they're going to take down a demon. And obviously, the demon is connected to um, Ghost Rider. And I'm not going to... I won't spoil it, but it's going to... It should be pretty decent overall. <coughs> Excuse me. You even get a guest star of Mephisto also in this. And um, it, it ended pretty well. A very good cliffhanger. So overall, I think Marvel hit it pretty well with these three titles here. And um, I'm really looking forward to reading the rest of the books. I've just been a little bit slow at reading them. I've been playing a little bit Mass Effect, and I've been working on some other projects. And uh, hopefully I can get through uh, some of this stuff a little bit faster. So anyways, um, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Write the video up or down, let me know what you think. And I'll have more reviews up later, so until next time.